Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to the Arise with Amber podcast. For many of you, this is your first time tuning in. This is your first time possibly finding this podcast. But many others have been with me. This was your 148th episode. So we have been through a lot together on Arise with Amber, and I don't want you to feel like you're behind at all because you can go back and watch old episodes over on YouTube. I started Arise with Amber in 2019. I am your host, Amber Smith, and I have been married to my husband, Granger, for going on 14 years. We have five children together. We have three here on earth, and we have two precious little ones in heaven with Jesus. I have London. She's 11 years old. She is amazing. She's incredible. She loves animals, and she has the sweetest, kindest heart. Um, She loves horseback riding and dancing, and she's just one of the joys and lights of my life. We have Lincoln, who's nine. He is constantly making us laugh. He is so generous and so giving and has such a a kind spirit of caring for others. He loves football. He loves God. And we also have River. River is forever three. He is in heaven with Jesus. And we have Maverick now, who is one and a half. He is our our miracle baby that we didn't think that we were going to have. And we had a miscarriage in between there, in between River and Maverick. And um, whenever we were going through that process, Lincoln had said, we had asked the kids if they had maybe wanted to name the baby a certain name. And Lincoln loved the name Noah. So we like to say that the baby that we miscarried, his name is Noah, and he's in heaven with Jesus and River as well. So I start each episode off by praying with you guys, and so I would like to do that first, and then we will dive right into episode one. Lord Jesus, we we love you. We, we worship you. We thank you. I thank you so much for your word. I thank you that you have made it possible to reach so many people from around the world, God, to share your good news. You've given us so many avenues and platforms to be able to share what you have done in this world for this broken world, God. And we're just forever and eternally grateful. Lord, I just pray that I can be a vessel for you to use me as you will to share your good news. God, I pray that somebody here hears a word from you today, Lord. I pray that something that I say makes them want to know you and to de- to, de- to desire you, to burn for you. And I just pray that you make yourself known to all of us in such a way that we can't deny God. Make us desire you. Lord, transform our hearts, transform our minds, our souls, God, our homes. Lord, may our lives and our, our actions just represent who you are. God, and who you are transforming us to be. I pray that you increase as I decrease, God, and I just pray that I live my life for the glory of you and you alone. Thank you for this opportunity to have fellowship with everyone who's watching and who's listening, God. I pray that something that I say will make them turn to you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, so like I said, my name is Amber Smith. I'm your host of the Arise with Amber podcast, and I started this show. I say I call it a show because it wasn't a podcast yet. I started this show in 2019, and it it was kind of birthed out of the loss of our son, River. So our son, River, was three years old, and we lost him to a drowning in our home in 2019. And what started as a grieving mother going into her closet to talk about her feelings of loss and pain and her journey and walk through that, it turned into a weekly show about honesty and about my faith journey and about grief and joy and about God, how God was was walking me through this valley. And it has been such a transformative, growing process for me. And I'm so thankful that I've had so many of you here for 148 episodes, and I welcome every new person who's here, and I thank you for tuning in, and I I pray that you come back each week, and like I said, my main goal of this Arise is to hopefully plant a seed to make you want to know Jesus if you don't know Him, and to make you want to go deeper with Him if you do know Him, to encourage you that 
this this life is hard, this world is hard, but God is so good. And I just hope that something that I say plants a seed that God will water and and make it want to just grow that and grow your passion to want to know him and not only to know him but to also go out into the world and shine his light for others as I said we <laughs> we started I started in my closet that turned into going into my kitchen I started at the kitchen table uh, for the very first episode and then I went outside in the elements and we were outside in the sun and the wind and the rain and the ice and the snow. So if you do go back and you can start at episode one and you can watch this whole journey unfold. And if you do do that, I pray that you give this mother grace because I was just a grieving mom. I was a new believer. I was so new in my faith, but I felt the Lord so strongly in my life and I wanted to share it with everyone. So I look back on those old episodes sometimes and I cringe a little bit because I was such a new believer. And I said in some of those beginning episodes that I was not a preacher, I was not a theologian, I, I, I was not a scholar. I was just a sinner saved by grace, a sinner saved by the grace of God that I didn't deserve. And I wanted to share what God has done in my life and what He saved me from. And I still get emotional because He is so good. and. I don't deserve him. None of us do. But by by his grace we are saved and by his grace he gives us life and hope and meaning and purpose through this life. And that's what I want to share with you guys every episode. So, it's been a journey to say the least and I have grown so much in my walk with the Lord and and now, you know, I no longer say I'm not a theologian because the the theology, the word theology is just the study of God. And that's what we do here. This is this is what we do. We dive into scripture each week and and we discuss what it means and on this podcast we're going to talk about everything from life and love and and parenting and marriage and friendships and church and everything is going to be through an eternal lens. So we will go to scripture we will walk through some scripture. I also like to do some Q&As. I love to answer your questions where it would just be you and I possibly sitting, having a cup of coffee, and you said, hey, can I ask you a little bit about this? Can you give me some advice on this? And I could be wrong sometimes, but I will tell you what I feel I would do in a certain situation or how I live my life or how I parent my children based on what the Bible says. So my standard of truth is what the bible says it's not based on my feelings all the time you know because my feelings are deceitful and faulty and we have sinful hearts we have sinful hearts so we can't always trust how we feel but we can't always trust the word of god and so i hope that by going to the word of god i can show you that you can always follow his truth it might not always feel good some things that we read in scripture don't feel good but God is good and He is truth and He is worthy to be trusted. So I don't know what each of you are currently facing in your life. I can imagine some of you are hurting. I can imagine some of you are grieving. I can imagine that many of you are lonely or depressed or anxious. But I wanna encourage you that wherever you are, wherever you are right now in this moment, God has positioned you here and it won't last forever. This feeling will not last forever. Whatever pain or dark season that you're in, it won't last forever. And there is hope, there is a way out, there is light, and His name is Jesus. And in Him, we have peace and we have rest. In this world, we will have trouble. But His word says, take heart, I have overcome the world. On the flip side of that, if you are in a season of blessing, if you are in a season of joy and triumph, Praise God, and praise, praise the Lord, but that won't last forever either. These seasons of being on the mountaintop don't last forever either. We live in a broken, fallen world, and there are valleys, and there are wilderness seasons, and there is pain and death and sickness and sadness. So I just want to prepare you guys, and I want to ask you, you know, where will you turn when the storms of this life hit you? Do you have a firm foundation in the rock? Or do you, a lot of times I hear from people that, well, I've lost my faith. I've lost my faith in God because this happened. I want you to be standed and rooted in the firm foundation of our Lord. 
that when those storms come, when those when the seas rage, you are not shaken. You know what truth is. You know that God has meaning and purpose for every situation that we face, that He is sovereign and He is planning and purposing all things for your good and for His glory. So that's what I want to share with you guys on Arise with Amber. I want to guide you to a firm foundation that never fails. And my walk with Jesus has been the most humbling, the most painful, the most beautiful, and the most fruitful relationship that I've ever had in my life. He's made himself known to me in in ways that have changed me for all eternity. It's changed how I, I view my marriage. It's changed how I parent my children. It's changed how... I do life with people and with other believers and with unbelievers. He saved me and I will live forever in gratitude for that salvation. And I know that when you trust and believe and open your word and surrender to him, he will change you too. He will transform your heart in such a mighty way. And it's so humbling to know that the God of all creation, the God of who knows every star by name, knows you by name. He knows you by name. He he formed you. He knit you together in your mother's womb for such a time as this. You are not a mistake. What is going on in your life is not a mistake. God knew it before the foundation. And so I hope that I can drive you to dig deeper into him and to know him and to grow with him and to trust him. As I said, God has positioned you here for this very moment, this very season, this very reason. And I don't know if you stumbled upon this podcast by accident. I don't know if you just happened to see uh, this on your feed or, or if somebody shared this with you, but you are here. God has placed you here. And I thank you for being here. I hope you come back each week. And I want you to know that your life matters. You matter. And our catchphrase, or so to speak, or our slogan, or, or something that I've said that the Lord placed on my heart from the very first episode is you are chosen. You are chosen by the creator of the world to do mighty works in his name, to bring people to him, to share the good news. And 1 Peter 2.9 says, But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. Jesus is our light. He calls us out of darkness. He saves us while we are still dead in our sins and our trespasses because he loved us so much. God became flesh and dwelt among us and lived and died and was hung on the cross as a substitute for your sin so that you could be made in right relationship with God, so that you could be forgiven, so that you could know that you have meaning and purpose. And he was resurrected on the third day. And that is a love like no other. That is a love like no other that when he was on that cross, he was thinking of you. And he is light and calls you out of the dark. Everything that happens here, as I said, is all for your good and his glory. We were created for his workmanship, not our own. And I hope that I can, I can draw you away from this feeling of this feeling of me and turn you into a kingdom mindset to where we turn our eyes upward and outward to other people instead of focusing so much on ourselves. I welcome your messages and your comments. I I would love to hear from you. I can't wait to see where this podcast goes. I am so excited for this growing ministry, and I'm so excited for all of our friends who have been here since day one. I love you guys so much, and I'm so excited for everybody new. Um, Comment. You can comment on any of these podcast platforms. You can let me know what you would like to possibly discuss on Arise with Amber. You can ask me a question whenever I do Q&As. I would love to have guests on here eventually, so comment or send me a message, send me an email at arisewithamber at gmail.com to let me know if you would like me to have a certain guest on here and what we could talk about. I am just humbled that God would use someone such as myself, that God chooses to use 
the lo- the lowest of low lowly people, the the one who feels super unqualified and just. I, I always feel like I'm unqualified to do this or that I'm ill-equipped to do this, but I know that that is from the enemy. And I know that whatever God calls you to, He just wants your availability and your obedience, and He will equip you for it. So I am trusting and I am obeying and I'm coming to you each week, just humbly wanting to serve the Lord and just to listen to Him and obey what He's calling me to do. So I welcome your messages. I welcome your comments. And you can find me at arisewithamber.com. That's my website. You can find me on Instagram at Amber Emily Smith. And over on my website, we have blog posts. We have photos. We have my family story. We have merch over there. And there's also a book now form if you ever want me to come speak. I do speaking engagements for churches or moms groups or luncheons or anything that you guys could think of. I'm here to serve the Lord and I'm here to serve you. And I have just been saying yes to whatever the Lord is placing in front of me and calling me to do. So that is my goal. That is my heart. That is my plan moving forward with every single one of these podcasts. I'm so excited for many topics that I have in mind. Um, I did a giveaway two episodes ago that I do giveaways from time to time. I gave away a couple of shirts and uh, a bag. So we talked about the gift of color two episodes ago. And I was really surprised that the main color chosen that was y'all's favorite color was purple. Um, the the color that symbolizes royalty and majesty. So the winner of the t-shirt, the crew neck and the bag is Jenny Sykes, but her favorite color was red. <laughs> but just email me, Jenny, at arisewithamber at gmail.com with your sizes and your address, and I will get all of that stuff to you. So as I said, you can find me on Instagram at Amber Emily Smith, or you can head to arisewithamber.com. You can go back and watch all of those old episodes of Arise if you want to catch up. They're usually short episodes, 10 minutes to 30 minutes, I think, at the most. But you can catch up, and you can come along with us on this journey. You're not behind. There's no order to any thing. I just talk about what the Lord places on my heart each week. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I want to leave you with three of my favorite scriptures, but it is so hard just to pick a couple of scriptures that are your favorites. But these are ones that I have I have all over my house. I have um, just imp- imprinted on my heart, and it's what I try to live by. And the first one is Proverbs 3, 5, 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will make your paths straight. I've learned through this journey in my life that I am not in control, that I I have to live in a, in a posture of surrender. I have to live with my hands open and say, God, this is yours. My life is yours. My children are yours. My marriage is yours. I will keep you the sinner of my life. Everything else will flow from that, but you are in control. So I try to trust in the Lord with all my heart. I don't lean on my own understanding because if I do that, I'll go crazy. (laughs) I, I don't understand why God does many of the things that he does, but I trust him. So Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, Romans 12, 12. This was my most transformative verse through 2019. It is rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation or affliction, and continue steadfastly in prayer. Some versions of that will use words like persevering or enduring or staying constant. So rejoice in hope, be patient in affliction, and be constant in prayer. And lastly, Romans fifteen thirteen. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may abound with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I love the word abound. May you be filled with joy and peace by the power of the Holy Spirit. That's my, that's my wish for you guys. That's my, my hope for you guys. He is our God of joy and peace. And as you trust and as you abide in Him, you will abound in hope. You will have peace. You will have rest. You will have all of these things that surpass understanding. So I am praying this all over you today. You are chosen. Have a wonderful week. I'm so excited that we are now in podcast form because now we can reach more people. We can share the good news, which is what we're called to do. It's our great commission. I thank you so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, I thank you for whatever platform you have joined me on. And I hope to see you or hear you or welcome you back next week. Have a great week. I'll see you next time.